welcome you all to Adriala Gallery. Uh, the name Adriala means heavens in you. It does not exist in the human language. You can Google it. This will be the only place you will see the name. It came to me in a dream, and I was divinely told that it meant heavens in you. If I have another daughter, that will be her name. So, so welcome to Adriala. Uh, this is our fifth anniversary that you're here for. Uh, it was, cre it was uh, built during the summer solstice. Um, that evening, three rainbows came up above it, so we've been blessed for the five years we've been here. So we really appreciate y'all coming down to come to the water we bring, or the water bring, excuse me, uh, and reflections of the Gullah culture. So I'd like to introduce uh, Queen Quet, the chiefess of the Gullah Nation, and she's getting ready to give you a beautiful presentation. So thank you so much for coming down. This is so long.
blood, sweat, and tears, did he? How am I gonna get rid of him? Great God. What's the difference when the Mordava did it? Nick the chill and the Some we, I studied more. What did Buckra do this time? What did Buckra do that time? But he had a study more. What wanted to do? Daddy the day. But you know, catch it, such boss to know better. I'm not boss to do better. But you know, sometimes it did. But I study more. And he's telling him to tell me both. He grind this your place, he grinds out that place. And when he come back, he say, well, how do people know what I do? They say, I ain't for snow. I ain't for snow. I'm one of the dead ass. How you ain't know? That's how do people do? That's how them kind of people they do? Ain't no such a thing to all done with me that they have. Everybody know everybody. Everybody know how to grind that big daddy no more. All that. Ain't no such a thing that I'm going to get there right there and nothing more. Even when they're trying to truly get them in the belly of the beach and try to make them so, say we ain't no one now. Suffer, I can get back to the show so everybody suffer one next year. Truly get all the different things, the fire, the tweet, and all of these kind of things. So that this young time, when we're the yeti, we all stand with them. When the buck of them yeti, then I'll stand with them. That's why some of them try for lick them, lick them, lick them. They lick them out to me. So even the this young day, that's some gonna get you can't crack your teeth like this. Shut talk, talk. They talk like this. Because their mother tongue, their language was beaten out of them. But why? Beaten out so that they couldn't communicate with one another. But they would listen to the driver lash. They had that cut, rice and the indigo. He had a cash crop. But people keep coming to Jacksonville, North Carolina, to Jacksonville, Florida, to see, looking for me to deal with you on And tell them, you had to come here for that. Look at your blue jeans. You don't see in the go. Look at the cotton. Even if we can't see them, you got cotton on the day. I can guarantee you that. But you know, study about your ancestors. You see that. Right over so you sit at the table in the evening time with your family and thing, and you're not putting that rice and thing like that. You're not taking chance. And should especially think about them one with Ben because of the Nation. Because that Carolina gold rice. Been named that. Because of the black gold. Who put the knowledge in this your soil you to see all us from for first grow? Because see, rice need what kind of water to grow, you know? You know that Abba? You ain't know? Anybody here know what kind of water rice need for grow? Fresh water. Fresh water. Sea Islands are thinking they're in Atlantic Ocean. What kind of water are they in Atlantic Ocean? Salt. Salt water. So you know you have to have knowledge then for make them so that you grow so much of rice you feed all the world. Carolina gold been a growing, y'all, yeah, and going back across all the world. So they trade the black gold this your way for your knowledge. They trade back the thing where it created, the thing where God blessed them for bring up the soil back to all the rest of the way. All in England and everywhere else, they've been in that one again. They've been away. Sea Island Cotton. You see, this year ain't no Q tip. See how you get it? But then Q tip, after you get to these, your place, like this year, there ain't no Q tip. See, you feel that thing with D inside them? What that is inside them? We are feeling it, brother. We are feeling it. Seed. Q tip ain't gonna have no seeds, yeah? Because that thing in a factory. We've been in the factory. Even the we knowledge will come from the motherland that y'all will make up for long hunt for grow this year. Kim it, been with, then get that seed for us. And that's why the long staple sea island caught the cousin to that, what they call the Egyptian cotton today. The little kinetic cotton. They learn you for calling them Egypt, so you not know say a part of who hunted Say with the one that learn we but say slave, so you wouldn't know the evil, the Mandinka, Malinke, the Yoruba, the Gola, the Gizi, that you wouldn't know who you're part of. Back in the world of Say we ain't want you for no sin. You be Gola Gichi on a welcome. Because we're gonna get it at what Gola me people blessed by God. And if you be yelling the one people blessed by God, say the yet is slave. But you won't be that. That was a pride in you, you know. But you know, say you're not it by God himself. Say to somebody tell you, God tell you for being this your condition. And you're going to be there for the rest of your life. Working for me for free. 
that would have warned you for her style. That would have warned you for do. That would even try every day. And then I hit you with the lash and try to use it once for bringing it down like a little shop. Protect all the humanity from you. Strip you of who you be. See, you not know where you come from. But create God, I tell you, is true, children. They haven't mean them for evil, but God mean them for good. Cause they throw me to get up on the island and think like that, eh? Them walk where they couldn't stand it. Tom, Tom. So we been there every evening. But we want to play for this. And y'all see how they gonna be? They learn we say them walk where they be everywhere. They been on ride hearts and think they been to keep the Africans and feel no such a thing when we been there. That was what dry bar come from, you know? They been had some of we been supposed to keep the rest of me in line. Supposed to keep me out joining in the show. Can't line up cool and they go and think like that. Eh? But how much of who you, how much of honey kid do if a thousand and we did it ain't but one honor? <laughs> we go there. Ain't no bridge. Mass of them can't get there that way. <laughs> so now what you want to do? You did it with your own people. You think you gonna really get mass of them since some of we gone? You ain't gonna tell them down down. That way that send don't come from it. Cause see them chillin' stuff and left off them plantation island and thing like that and go and cross to these other rest of Lee Island, we call the Hummock a day. And Yama see be did it. The beast no be did it. The cassava them be did it. Chief Doctor them be did it. And whenever they gather in them maroon color to the old Jonah, they be the red on them plantation island. And go on right on back. Or they clean. So it be by family and it be witty family, even though the water be too. So even now, that big old body of water deal, Jonah, what hundred of the middle passage and thing like that, the Atlantic family still did it. Cause see that that water, and we bloodline, and line, and we family. So you can't take that from him. So you know what? When we would start to gather together, we gather in these young players called the bush out and the brush out and thing like that, and we would have learned one another about who you be. You understand? Never let the children forget who you be. Where the land you who big daddy mama them fit. And what feeling children come from and all that kind of thing. Land you have fun. Start your party and think like that. So you keep the man and think like that. Think like that. You don't want to broke up man. Man and think broke up now and the woman ain't look at itself. Yeah, your job. And it's your job for going on children and get there. They ain't a study about how for stirring up party and all that kind of thing. So if you ain't a stir nothing great, God, the whole family will stop the death. And it ain't just a stop from not nothing but food. That stop because the spirit it ain't getting fed. And that way it be won't. But see, we always get together and brush off and brush off and feed one another spirit just like a we to do young. But see, when they get it, they're trying to find them. They can't find them to all talk. Because once you start up like a this show, punch in town, somebody on it. I won't for cross over to see my Lord. 
It looked like the children that Moses led. I won't cross over to see my Lord. Well, who that yonder dressed in black? I won't for cross over for see my Lord. It looked like the children got gone back. I won't for cross over for see my Lord. Get away, Chile Jordan. Get away, oh. Chile Jordan, get away, Chile Jordan, I won't for cross over for see my Lord. And master them yet at that? I say, oh yes sir, <laughs> it's happy tonight. If y'all been that feeling the moment, I say we yet at that. But me no say, gonna be a few hands short in that feeling. <laughs> All of we ain't got dead. But some we done yelled that message. And gone on across over. Gone on to the other rest of the place. Gone on to the next line. And then to gather up the family. You see, one time back in 1739, this young brother, Frank Gorla, him and one week first ancestor, will come here with Angola and kill him and get together with the other rest of the brother. Who in the make all these your tools and things? On the plantation, I'll join a John Son and anything like that. And get him, Lam Norsey, down yonder. Past week, the district place called La Florida. And Henna Yeti say, the king, man, down there, them tell him, say, any week, get from Carolina, La Florida, and convert the district king. We call it Catholicism. We want to be free. We want to get land and things. We have to do this show for the book on the The kid on them get together. Because they've been in the blacksmith, you know. And then make their weapons. And then put together a drum. And then start the march. Don't want to hear the called King Highway. They didn't call that thing Highway 17. And they're going to say, Liberty! 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 While they've been marching down yonder. Going to La Florida. And go on to this here place called Gracia Real de Santa Teresa de Monsey. On a yeti bottom called Fort Monsey today. But they're been a guy in there, because they know, see, when they get there, the more we did it, the more the family did it, and the Madonna did it, talk, talk. But see, some of them, now get there, when they're supposed to get there. Because what you do? You know how hundred children say you get idols? Mm -hmm. And then what you do? <laughs> so some of them go on to sleep. What's this thing Hunter can do if you don't fight for freedom is go to sleep? <clears throat> How you go on sleep and fight? You don't sleep and fight. So you have to be with and stay with you. So you do that, you know, listen to them come on top of them and get them and cut his head off and throw head on every mall post. All the way down for a tactical for letting children know that Hunter to try this your kid. This your work on But that ain't stop me. Tall, tall. See? Not tall, tall. We make them so we fight harder. See, even more than so 100 years later, one of my yeti boat got a jack at Denmark, VC. And then come together. They're blood and they're playing again. But make them so all the week. Why be free, Polynesia, Sea Island? But rather right was all the other rest of children of Mother Africa will be scattered around. Why join in? As they thought they could have yetted that drum. They could have yetted that song of freedom. What would make kid all them march? See, because your first drum always did. Uh, for kid all them to make the gym band thing like that. It's against the law for any African to play the drum. It's against the law for any Africans to read or Right. It's against the law for any African to own land. They ain't had no law like that till after the Stone of Rebellion of 1739. That's when the 1740 slave codes came into existence, and that is when Africans stopped getting together in mass groups because also it was now illegal for three or more to gather without an overseer present. 
that's still in place in corporate America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as far as you go, they try to bring you back. As much as things change, mm -hmm. they remain the same. Mm -hmm. And that's why one must know your story so that you know the sound of a drum when you hear it. And you know the reason that the enslaver did not want us to play the drum. The drum has always been the signal of gathering. The drum has always been the signal of reunion. The drum has always been that which we are drawn together with in the bush hour, in the brush hour, where we share our story, where we share our journey, where we learn each other for we be. And so we know we be Belagichi united and free. Because our ancestors never let them truly take their dream. When they stop playing the ones like what you hear in the distance, they put it off. Africans in America 
know from whence they came. So we have many that want to fly over and leave the land that they know their ancestors from. In Carolina, Georgia, Florida, that's hidden in plain view. The villages they're looking for when they go all the way to Senegal, when they're all the way to Gambia, when they go all the way to Ghana, when they go all the way to Angola, they're looking for the very villages that their own people have kept right here upon this your land. And they say, I have to go back yonder. And they go there. And then God send them right back to South Carolina after that. Because they still ain't fine where you want. It's soul and things still ain't settled. But when they get home and they yell at that sound, and that party rhythm coming from that prayer's house, coming from that church. And right of what's when they kick off his shoe and that for some that was seeing the race black. God the most make you hurt yourself. <laughs> now when they say, oh, this is what I was looking for. And all the time, it was right there. But the water had to bring them back. So that blue one there represents the indigo that some of our ancestors died with their hands this color because of how long they worked in it. And here it is that we also have in that blue of our national flag, the water. Because as we say, the water bring me, the water going to take me back. And so as African people, the village has always been about us coming together, working together, singing together. Shout me. You had to do things by yourself. So we couldn't understand how our children could leave islands, get here to a concrete jungle, and suddenly think things were about yourself and only myself, and I got to get it. We don't hardly hear the word I where I live. What we want to do, where we go, on, we be Gullah Geechee anointed people. Not I am. I am is God. And you better be careful about what follows I am. Because that'll be you. So, as we take this journey, strong one, come here, please, sir. So as we take this journey called the water bring me. The water didn't only bring me up the East Coast to Adriala Gallery to sit, to wear my heels that I love so well but also to be in a place of healing and a place of blessing. And as you take the journey through the images that have been captured by the eyes of my brother here, Strongwind, who I know is neat, who is also a chief as I am. She's telling you to step closer, come this way, Thank you. Just saying. Um, I wanted to add to the journey. There is an image inside when you start the journey of the photo healing exhibit that's inside, that was specifically curated by Brother Strongman for this day, you have a journey from the motherland, from the western seaboard, into the sea islands on this east coast, to my home, St. Helena Island. And so, on St. Helena, this net was sold by Captain McGree who is now 90 years old, as mm -hmm. I told you the other day. And he has been sewing nets since he got his sense, when he turned maybe about 40-something. He was doing it as a child, and ah, he's like you, can't keep still. <laughs> so he said, they showed me how to do it, queen, back then. But you know, I'm going to keep still. I ain't keep still, talk, 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 queen. No, 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 can't do that, can't do that. I ain't going to go and do the other thing. Come back, come back later, come back later. I said, well, how much later? <laughs> he said, I, 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 probably 40. So around the time he was four is when he sat and hasn't stopped since with some of these cast nets. And he's one of the last living Gullah Geechee cast net makers that's still a captain that still goes out in those bottle boats that you have captured in that imagery in there and could tell you just about everything but where to go and not to go in that curriculum. And so this is for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you.
for many, many years in the Gullah Geechee Nation and to cast a wide net here in New York to draw in not only the Gullah Geechees but those who wanted to learn who they be, whether their roots are Gullah Geechee or not. Those who said, well, I read about you. I see you in these movies. I told the sister, don't bring that movie up in here. The day, <laughs> daughters, I'm going to leave it at that. And the reason I told them to bring it up is because that film, although a lot of people found it picturesque and they were drawn to it, it was shot on St. Helena Island, it was shot on Hunting Island, mm -hmm. but it was not something Gullah Geechee's appreciated mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Because it is a fiction film. Mm -hmm. We don't go around wearing long white dresses all day with high heel shoes and go to the beach and cook our food. Mm -hmm. He can attest to that. Absolutely. We do not do that. Right. <laughs> Grown women don't sit in trees and talk with one another, whole conversation. My mom and I want to slap you out there, tree. <laughs> what you doing? Okay. So there was a lot of things in it that were based on our reality. The centerpiece of the story was about land and the family struggle to keep it or to let it go. That is a real story. There's a real Hazard family. They are part of who I'm connected to. I work with them all my life. They are the ones who founded the original Gullah Festival that happens in Beaufort, South Carolina every Memorial Day weekend. But they never gave permission to that woman to do their story in a film. Mm -hmm. And a lot of money's been made and she now has a job even in Charleston again because of the 25th anniversary of the film or something like that. She ended up with a job at a college there. They were grand. But that is not our story. That's a fictional rendition of our story. Mm -hmm. So, I wanted to be here for the Gullah Geechee Land and Legacy World Tour because the Spirit led me to a real space, a real place, where the healing of the family can happen, where there's part of our bloodline flowing here in the presence of strong, and where the truth of who we are is told. Ain't no fiction when you come here, Adriana. It's all real. You look into the eyes of our people in those images and you look into the soul of who we be. You look into those waterways and you feel yourself. You can see your reflection in it as African children, as the children of the mother. You understand? For truth. And so that is why the water brought me here this time, this day. Many people often have said to me, when are you coming back to New York? When are you coming back to New York? When are you coming back to New York? Well, I'm here. Where are they? Mm -hmm. There's all these social media admirers. Where are they? So I'm looking for them today. Because we're at a critical point where if you don't know who we are, you can't help fight for who we are. And that's exactly what the destruction is want a.k.a. Mm -hmm. developers. They would love, someone asked me earlier, but where would you stay when you come to the island if there ain't no hotel? And I said, we don't want no hotel in the island because the hotels, the resorts, and the golf courses are the major factor of displacement in the Gullah yeah. Nation. Mm -hmm. They build it, they come. You build it, they will come. You build it, they come. Too many come, they widen the road. The cost of widening the road is let's knock down all these Gullah Geechee houses and the churches and all these places that are there in order to have enough place and space to accommodate, you can go ahead and finish it, mm -hmm. to accommodate more people from the outside coming in. And as we always point out, we the Binyam and in the Guayana we're tall, tall. And so our fight is to keep Gullah Geechee land and legacy. So every dime that you've spent today, in terms of books, in terms of admission, in terms of donations, those things go back into the Gullah Geechee Land and Legacy Fund and the work of the Gullah Geechee Sea Island Coalition, which is almost 20 years old. And the blessing for this day, there's been a lot of blessings for this day, um, as he knows, but the blessing for this day for me is to stand at my brother's gallery here now because when I found it, 
the Gullah Geechee Sea Island Coalition. The launch party was in Brooklyn, New York at Spiritual Rhythms Gallery, mm -hmm. which Leroy Campbell, who's a native of Charleston, South Carolina, owned. Yeah. Quirky. If it's acting funny with you, you can yeah. add it to me. It's okay. good? Yeah, it's good okay. so far. And so Felicia has been there on this journey. She's actually an event planner. And so when I told her there's an event, oh yes, when and what time and what needs to be done, and uh, let's get this right. Okay. So uh, I appreciate her being here. And I also want to thank Kwame Shaw, Omo Productions, who was to be here today as well but ended up having to do an engagement at Weeksville because his crew member's grandmother passed. They could not do it. And so I definitely want to thank him and Strongwin and Adriala Gallery and Olmo Productions because this leg of the Gullah Geechee Land and Legacy Tour could not have happened without them and the investment they made for me to be able to be here. And so I say it publicly because I love these brothers. I was hoping the farmer would have been right here. I had it all planned. He was going to be here, he was going to be here. To just say, I love these brothers. And, you know, thank you. And the thing is, is that there's all too often we say things like black people don't get along and black people don't work together. We're here as an example to show you, yes, we do. So you can stop the propaganda campaign because you speak it into existence. Mm -hmm. So now you can go and speak, you can tweet, you can Facebook it, you can call up people, you can text it, and let them know, no, I was at a place today, black folks work together. We're not sponsored by no beer liquor companies, nobody, no marijuana, medicinal marijuana company, nobody ain't sponsoring this but us. Okay? And these brothers said to me, all they said was, Queen, what you need? And whatever I needed, whether that was a ride, whether that was some um, sternos, <laughs> or whatever, whatever, they literally meant it. No suck the teeth, no roll out, they say, let me see it, you know. Um, they went right ahead and said, yes, queen, and the next day I got a text, it's done. And that's how Gullah Geechis are raised. They respect the mother, and as a queen mother, They've shown that respect. It's not just about words at all times. They've shown that. And so I just wanted to publicly thank you and, and thank Kwame for all you did to make this movie happen. It's not. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. right. And so, yes. <laughs> yeah. and so I also want to thank all my Facebook family that's up in here and go ahead on. <laughs> again because again people think people on social media aren't real people hey. that they don't come out to nothing that they just be on there as activists on the line right. so it's proof and that's why some of y'all was following you walked in off I said I need a picture <laughs> I'm tagging on Facebook and I do that all the time because I want people to get from behind the computer and come out into reality okay. and so you see I'm you see good. that yeah right. I got it here on the Gullah Geechee Nation flag, you heard what the colors are. You heard what the tree is. But you notice, what is the tree surrounded by? What shape? Circle. Circle. And then there's another one. Circle. We are the circle. And whatever you put out in it is what ultimately comes back. And so at Adriala, this is your circle. This is your place. This is your space for healing, for meditation, for growth, for sharing, for love, for us to be who we be. And so don't ever feel like you gotta wait till I come back. You don't have to wait till I come back. If y'all fill out the forms and those sheets, he having something, I lay in it, you come over. You just feel the energy to move on a Saturday, which is when it's usually open, come over, you see? And definitely there is power in a place when the place is blessed as it has been by your presence today. And Sean, if you do me a favor, bring the cup of water that I left on the table for me. Because one of the other things that we always have when we gather together, and I'm gonna ask all of y'all if y'all would stand up and hold hands, except my sister right here, you don't have to. They can come around, you come in, brother, just come on this end, sister, come on this end, and make one continuous circle. I'm gonna be in the middle. Sean, when you're in the middle, everybody else, please join hands.
together. You trying to have me do this and join the circle? I know, right? And you got that, but you can touch her elbow. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and you want the circle to be unbroken. All right. There we go. This your day, God. We say thank you, thank you, Donna, for this your gathering of all hundred children. Where we come from, I'll get more love. Still live on in this your body and thing like that. We pray for our child and gathering. And we say thank you, thank you. And for this your day, for we ancestors them. But the water to bring to this your place, we say, I share. I share. For all of the ancestors, we've been a guanyon, into the bush out of the trash in a fight for me, like a young man. When it's your time, they call, trying to find a slave. He said, Ashe. Ashe. For all of them, what did he? And the sun, and the sea, and the thing like that. Still the whole kind of culture thing like that. But the children have a place with their land. He said, Ashe. Ashe. For all of we children, 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 what a kind. Why if us a day here now? But who boy get you? You know who he does. No say that motherland children. No say that African children. No say it be Galagichi. God bless and not the children. We poor, we say, Ashe. Ashe. And now we give you the opportunity to call out on your ancestors who left you positive energy, who left you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to grow. Elizabeth McKinney. Ashe. Willadina George Harris. Ashe. Eliza Goodwin. Ashe. Elijah Robinson. Ashe. Elijah Goodwine. Ashe. Only Green. Ashe. Moses Goodwine. Ashe. Lloyd Goodwin. Ashe. Matt Henney. Ashe. The God Dang Day. Ashe. Ernestine Robinson. Ashe. Olivia Gomes. Ashe. Musin Mahmoud. Ashe. Carrie Stokes. Ashe. Lucille Lemon. Ashe. Mary Blythe. Clarence Robinson. Ashe. Gulla Jack. Ashe. Dan Marvisi. Ashe. Jane Samuel. Ashe. The Beach Lady. Ashe. Inez Hanson. Ashe. Ruth Hammond. Ashe. Paris Goodman. Ashe. Bobby Robinson. Ashe. Dr. Clyde. Ashe. Elizabeth Rivers. Ashe. Johnny Sarah. Ashe. Ernestine Key. Ashe. Ashe. For all our ancestors, we name we not yet no more. But we want honor for no, we not forget who wanted to be. We thank you. And it's strike you under your name for the day we. And thank you, God, for this your blessed journey in the air trailer gallery. Thank you, thank you. Because we know the water bring me. The water will take me back. And to this year, we say, Ashe. 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 Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Oh, 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 freedom. Oh, oh, freedom. Oh, oh, freedom. Oh, baby. I need to be what I say.